All right, guys. So uh, in uh, this video, we're going to talk about the the cam link here uh, that that I have here. Um, anyways, if you are looking into having a DSLR camera uh, that has like HDMI output and you want to incorporate that as a webcam, hey, the, the cam link might be for you. Uh, I did go with this. Um, it, it was on Amazon. It was, I think it was about $109, normally $130. I, got, I caught it on sale, so I decided to try it out, uh, see if it can improve the quality of the camera. Uh, anyways, inside the box, what you end up getting is uh, something that looks just like this. It's a little, little dongle there, and uh, it, it is USB 3.0. So uh, make sure that your uh, your system has that. And again, it's for Mac Windows, but obviously if we're using uh, Ecamm Live, we're using a Mac computer. Uh, it does come with this right here. This is uh, the USB extender. Okay, so uh, definitely you would want to simply just plug this in to it. And the reason why I say you you, you want to have the extender is because if you if you do just plug in this dongle here into your your computer and you plug in an HDMI cord right in here that's a lot of stress on that joint uh, if you have it plugged right into a computer so I, I remember when you know you know um, you know Wi-Fi USB things were or something of, of uh, use back in the day anyway and I, I remember I went through several of them all because I didn't want to use uh, the extension cord that it comes with so anyways highly recommend the the extension cord be plugged into this and then this obviously is plugged into the you know your main computer okay all right so uh, the, the other end here is just a normal HDMI cord uh, you know the size uh, is the, the standard one okay so when it comes to thinking about utilizing your digital SLR camera, uh, you're, you're definitely going to want to, A, first make sure that you have uh, an HDMI output here. And uh, mine is on the side. Okay, And one of the things that I made the mistake in uh, is I ordered, I ordered the wrong size of uh, HDMI cord. Okay, so anyways, you, you want to pay attention to the size there. Um, I mean, they have a micro, they have, um, you know, a micro, and uh, they also have an HDMI mini. And so I ended up getting the wrong cord, you know, and uh, again, I got this on Amazon. Uh, so, so wrong, wrong cord. Obviously, that's not going to fit in there. So this is the, uh, uh, not the micro. This is the HDMI mini, but uh, anyways, maybe I'll find something to use that for a little later on. All right. Now, the, the next thing that you want to make sure that you, you do when you are selecting your, your DSLR camera is that you, you want to make sure that you can have a, a clean output uh, whenever you're doing an HDMI. Okay. So what, is, what does that mean? So if, if I were to plug this in to, uh, to a television, I mean, you guys can always test this out with a television without getting uh, the cam link or anything like that. But anyways, uh, when, when you plug it into a television, you don't want to have all of that junk down there around your border. I mean, that's going to look silly if you're going to use this as a webcam and, and broadcast that and everything, right? So anyways, you're going to have to typically go into your settings. Uh, right now, this, this is the camera that I have. It's the Sony A6000. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's under the uh, the little, looks like a little med kit there. Anyways, uh, the little suitcase there, and it's on step number three, and it says HDMI info display and I turned it off. Okay, so uh, you're just going to have to dig in your user manual, see what that would end up doing for you, and uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, turn that off. Turn that off because you, you definitely don't want that. Okay. Um, you know, some, some other things that uh, I'm, I'm running into with this, uh, you know, some other tips and everything is, you know, <clears throat> when you um, you know, do you want to have it do autofocus all the time? Do you want to have it do manual focus? Uh, so all, all those things come into play. So think about that when you are putting this together. All right. Now, the, the other thing that you may want to look into having is uh, essentially a, a power source. 
other than your battery. Because if you plan on having your camera on for any long period of time, you're going to just run through batteries all the time. So anyways, I, I did invest in this thing here. So anyways, it's a it's a battery pack made same same exact size as the the battery for that goes in my Sony, and the the cord there actually gets plugged in, uh, obviously to the to the power outlet, and that's what it's running off of. So this is like a a fake battery, and uh, it's just running off power off of your your home electricity, and a lot of times the um, you, you know, the camera manufacturers knows that people people want to do this and stuff, and they have the little flap that's here. Hopefully you guys can see that little flap, and that allows the cord to uh, dingle dangle out. So anyways, the battery, battery would come out. Uh, this would go in its slot there. Let me make sure it's there. And then the cord just drapes out like this, and then the battery cover can get closed and locked. So now you're you're able to you know, turn on the, the camera there, and you can see that it just just booted up for us, uh, utilizing the, the power cord instead of the normal battery. All right, so that's something that you're going to want to want to check into. Uh, the the other thing to to keep in mind with the camera as well is uh, usually in the menu settings it has some sort of auto shut off after a certain amount of time. Uh, you're not taking pictures, so make sure <clears throat> the setting. Uh, in your camera, anyway, has the the ability to uh, not shut off, uh, especially when you're trying to use this. Because uh, you know, the last thing you want is because of inactivity for five minutes, there goes your main camera. All right. Now, th those are the tips <clears throat> as far as the uh, the Elgato uh, Cam Link. And like I said, I'll, I'll post post some links uh, where this where I got this. And then I'll, I'll show you on the screen here um, what, what we have to do in order to set everything up and sort of my setup on how I'm using this plus the, uh, plus the camera to be like a webcam. All right. So we'll, we'll do that here in the next video um, transition here. All right. So before you plug everything in, you need to go to the Elgato website, uh, go to the download, and then uh, make sure you download the... Uh, game capture for Mac. Just go ahead and download that part, and uh, that essentially is all you need. And remember, the Elgato uh, Cam Link actually acts like uh, a webcam. It'll show up as a webcam. Anyway, so uh, you, you download it, install it. Uh, this is what you end up getting. Uh, then you can go ahead and plug in your your eCam uh, Cam Link, and then plug in your device and, and everything else like so. And you should be able to see yourself. All right, great. So that that works. Then inside of uh, of Ecamm Live, uh, you should be able now to. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this here, and you should be able to go ahead and let me go ahead and pull this up here. You should be able to see your main camera as a, as a source here. So it should say up here, and then it identifies. The, the cam link and everything. So that's how you bring it in there. Uh, again, uh, keep in mind, you know, you're going to want to make those, um, you know, make those things that you want. Like, do you want autofocus? Uh, you know, tighten up the shot. Do you want to go in a little bigger, a little less? So, so do all that prep work beforehand. Uh, you know, uh, the nice things with the DSLRs, you can you can adjust the aperture, the lighting, everything uh, to, to give you a, a nice crisp image um, within Ecamm. Again, making a DSLR camera that was normally sitting on my shelf, uh, turning it into a webcam fairly easy for right around $110 at, at the time of the sale and stuff. Like I said, I'm going to post links down below um, if that's something that you guys are interested in as far as uh, getting uh, you know, your DSLR camera that might be sitting on a shelf uh, as a good viable webcam. Uh, the Elgato website does have the, you know, the sites on there of uh, cameras that they've known and tested to see whether or not uh, you know, the cam link would be compatible with your system. So make sure you, you check that as well. I think it's down down here. Here, um, I mean, you got the specifications, the requirements, and everything. Um, I forgot where the the main. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, level up your content. Is your camera compatible? Check here, and it's going to have a, a list of cameras that they've known that they have tested uh, that should work. And again, 
Um, please, 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 um, you know, make sure you get the right HDMI cable. Like I said, I uh, wasted six bucks. I uh, had to had to not go on Amazon and went out there because I wanted to play with it instantly as soon as I got the got the cords and stuff. So I had to pay uh, had to pay target prices, uh, which is a little bit more. All right. But uh, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, make sure you you post them in the comments below. I'm more than willing to uh, assist anybody if the, if you do have uh, questions about this. All right. So hopefully you learned something, uh, gained something out of this uh, with uh, you know with you know Ecamm Live using the uh, Elgato Cam Link. And, and again, if you are like a ScreenFlow user or anything like that, uh, Skype user. Um, you know, it recognizes this as a as a webcam for me to use in those applications as well. So it's not just for Ecamm Live. Real quick before I go, I, I just wanted to show you uh, the, the quick setup that I have for that's holding the camera up. And uh, again, I have it right above my monitor. Uh, obviously, I don't have it that high. I just wanted to extend it just to sort of show you what it is. Anyways, this is the the Archon uh, Cam. Uh, video cam studio that I was showing you guys earlier and stuff. Um, it, you know, it has has this arm right here where it can raise. It's it's a very strong, sturdy base. I'm definitely not worried about the camera falling or anything like that uh, because that camera camera's expensive. I think it's like I don't know, 500 bucks. I would not want this camera to to drop and fall. Uh, anyways, it, it's got the this little arm right here where you're able to uh, you know screw it, and then this pole slides up and down. And then underneath the uh, the part right here, that's where we have the wheel and where the camera's setting on. Uh, again, the, the camera just you know this just twists into the the normal camera hole for tripod mounts and stuff. But anyways, uh, I have my have my camera there, and it just rests right on top of my um, you know my screen there. So now I can just like look right at my screen and talk to the audience and stuff. But that's the uh, that's the setup of the camera. And I do apologize for all the uh, wires and everything that you're seeing there and stuff. But but yeah, that is the setup. Uh, again, if you're interested in this uh, camera stand, if you use the coupon code Scrappy Do, you end up getting twenty percent off this thing. So uh, again, I love this. You can do. Uh, I mean, you can see that. Uh, you know, all of these things are adjustable, and it's really made for like overhead shots. If you're trying to do a do an overhead shot of something, um, but right now I'm just using it as like a nice tripod stand, um, and it's very like low profile and you know uh, very very sturdy and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you uh, what that looked like as well because I know some folks may ask. All right, so cool, good deal. Well, uh, thanks for watching again. All right.